Welcome to Mission Control, Special Agent. My name is Courtney and I am a field agent for Let's Talk Science at Cape Breton University. The agents do lots of fun experiments and it is so great that we get to work with special agents just like you. So, are you ready for your first training mission? Great, then let's talk science. First, we need to prepare our materials. For this mission, you will need a ruler and a pencil, which can be found in your special agent toolkit. We also need a partner. Perfect timing! Hello, helping hand! Would you like to be my partner for this mission? Great! Then let's get started. First, have your partner hold the pencil in front of you. It should hang down from their hand like this. Next, place your hand near the other end almost like you are holding an invisible glass of water. Without warning, your partner is going to let go of the pencil and you have to try to catch it as fast as possible. Now we use the ruler to measure the distance between the tip of the pencil and the place where we caught it. Then we record this number on the chart in our science kits. Great job! Let's try it again four more times. So, what is happening? When your eyes see the pencil drop, your brain sends a message to your arm and hand. This is what lets you catch the pencil. The time it takes between your eyes seeing the pencil, your brain sending the signal, and your hand closing on the pencil is called your reaction time. When you are all done, we can add all five numbers and divide by five. This is your average reaction time. We can look at our reaction time table in your toolkit and find how fast your reaction time really is. For even more fun with reaction times, switch roles with your partner or try your other hand. Don't forget, practice makes perfect, so you can make your reaction time even faster if you practice. Thanks for your help, helping hand! Great work on the first part of the mission, special agent. Now let's move on to the second part, building a robotic hand. For this mission, you will need five straws, one piece of cardstock, some tape, some string, and some scissors. So make sure you have adult supervision. Start by tracing the outline of your hand with your fingers spread apart onto the piece of cardstock. Then cut out the hand. Now we can cut straws to represent the bones in our hands and run pieces of string through each of the fingers just like this. The strings represent tendons, which connect your finger bones to the muscles in the palm of your hand and arm. Tendons let you move your fingers. Watch this. If you pull the strings, then you close the hand. What can you pick up with your grabber hand? Maybe a pencil or a piece of paper? Give it a try. Robotic hands and arms are super useful. We can even find them in space. The Canada Arm 2 is a famous Canadian robotic arm that is found on the International Space Station. Awesome job today, Special Agent! I think you're ready to go help the other field agents on their missions. I'll stay at Mission Control to track your progress. Thank you for all of your help, and good luck on your next mission! Bye! 